Hello, students. How are you? I hope you are well. I am also well. Thanks a lot to Almighty Allah that He keeps us safe and sound from COVID-19 coronavirus. However, dear students, welcome to my online class. Dear students, I am Muhammad Shahid Ali Bhuiya, assistant teacher in English, Lobby Majidulis High School. Dear learners, I am going to discuss from English first paper for class 10. learners teachers to guess do you see in the first picture oh yes picture of begum rukia thank you very much can you guess the picture, second picture oh yes the second picture is of prithilota very good Dear learners, you say the third picture, oh yes, is Nelson Mandela. Another picture, try to guess, oh, the image is of Hazi Muhammad Mohsin. Well done. Can you guess? Yes of Florence Nightingale. Very good. The learners, can you guess teacher? Oh yes, teacher is of Mother Teresa. Very good. The learners, have you ever seen these pictures? Oh, yes. So, dear learners, our topic is who stand out in its seven lesson four learning outcomes at the end of the lesson the students will be able to describe and understand the text choose the differences seeing from the text in the gaps they ask and answer questions the learners This country belongs to this flag, or oh, yes, Sidonia. Here the image, it's Macedonia. The learners, image of Skopje, the city of Macedonia. Here the image. Agnes Gonza Buzaziu, born 26th August 1910, but place say Macedonia. At the age of 12, she decided to be a missionary. At the age of 18, she left her paternal home. The learners, sisters of Florento, an Irish community of nuns, the image indicates leaving her parental home, she joined here. The learners, best Virgin Mary in Dublin, where she was trained. The learners, when she came to India. On May 1931, Agnes Bunzabuzaziu sends to Teresa, then Mother Teresa.
On May 24, 1931, she took her initial vows as a nun and continued to 1948. It is the image of St. Mary's High School, Kolkata, now Kolkata. Mother Teresa taught geography and theology at this school. In Kolkata had a deep impact in her mind and in 1948 she decided herself to work with the poor in Kolkata. Dear learners, some vocabularies, here are some new words, here are the new word, descent means origin or parentage or birth in the same group. Another new word, autumn, means the season that comes after the rainy season. Another new word, Catholic, means Christianity. Another new word, siblings, means birth from the same mother. Another new word, little, means tiny. Another new word, merchant, means trader. Another new word, speed, means or blow out. Another new word bow means oath. Another new word lib means London. Another new word slum means live. Now, dear learners, let us read the text. Learners, your book. And try to read the text. I am reading the text sent to me, and I think it will be helpful for you to understand the text as well as write different types of questions. It was August 26, 1910. A little girl was born to an Albanian descent and family in a small town called Iskose, Macedonia. She was the youngest of the three siblings, named Agnes from the Buzaziu, who had known that this tiny little girl would one day become the servant of humanity, love and serve the poorest of the poor, and become the mother of humanity. Yes, we are talking about none other than Mother Teresa. At the age of 12, she heard a voice in her that asked her to spread the love of Christ. She decided that she would be a missionary. At the age of 18, she left her parental home. She then joined an Irish community of nuns for the sisters of Lorento, who is a missions. After a few months of training at the Institute of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Dublin, Mother Teresa came to India on May 24, 1931. She took her initial boss as a nun. From 1931 to 1948, Mother Teresa taught geography and catechism or religious instruction at St. Mary's High School. However, the prevailing poverty in Kolkata had a deep impact on her, on Mother Teresa's mind. In 1948, she received permission from her superiors and devoted herself to work among the poorest poor in the slums of Kolkata. Dear learners, next I am going to evaluate you through group work. Learners belong to group A, you have to choose the best answers for alternatives. Question number one, what does servant of humanity mean in the text? Option A, becoming a slave. Option B, to work in other people's house. Option C, to oppressed by others. Option D, to serve the needy. Question number two, why did Mother Teresa want to be a missionary? Because she heard option A, the voice of her neighbors. 
discussing it option b a voice in her dream option c a voice within herself option d the voice of her parent about talking it question number 3 mother teresa set out to join the missionary of the sisters of santo in the year option a 1927 option b 1928 option c 1929 option d 1930 Question number four. Mother Teresa took her boss at the age of this. A 18, option B 19, option C 20, option D 21. Question number five. Mother Teresa as 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 well of solvent, option C four, option D four. T is six. She served the best in the society. option a well of is c affluent option d well to do question number 7 in death she left her parental home option a 1922 option b 1910 option c 1928 option d 1938 dear learners take your answers here the possible answer is for b to serve the needy Question number two for C a voice within herself. Question number three for B nineteen twenty eight. Question number four for D twenty one. Question number five for A well of six for C well to do. Question number seven for C nineteen twenty eight. Learners belong to group B. You have to fill in the blanks. Get words. Question is: Teresa was born to an Gap number A dash descent. She was gap B dash of the siblings. She decided that she gap C dash. Of eighteen, she left her gap D dash home. In nineteen thirty one, she took her gap E dash was as a nun. Dear learners, your answers. Your answer is. A for Albanian, gap B for youngest, gap C for old, gap D for parental, gap E for initial. There are students. Evaluation. It is time for homework. So please be ready with your writing materials and write down the following questions and then try to answer them appropriately. Yeah, the question number one: Where did Mother Teresa's sisters come from? Question number two: Where was her father? See, why did she want to become a missionary? Question number four: What made her different from other girls at such is what words questions are used in the text to describe this difference? Question number five: What did Mother Teresa do? In the first seventeen years in India, dear students, thank you very much for joining with me. I will take up any other class another day. Till then, stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz. This is all for today.